I glanced over the books, vaguely hoping to find a copy of How to Deal with Poisonous Spiders While Tied to a Chair. No such luck. But I noticed one corner of the bookcase was supported by a loose block of wood. Maybe I'd been a little heavy-handed, but it was a question of survival. Of course, I was still tied to a chair in a burning house with no means of escape. As I released the lock, something blew the doors open. That cylinder was hot. I couldn't pick it up with my bare hands. The panties I'd found in Nico's bag were just what I needed to wrap around the hot cylinder. The cylinder gave out a faint hiss as the valve opened. What? Now I had one primed up and ready to use extinguisher. With a well-aimed squirt of a soda fountain, our unshakable hero saved the day. Now it was time to start looking for Nico. I wasn't going to burn myself on that red-hot doorknob, and it wasn't the time for subtlety. I'd found a piece of newspaper folded in two. I'm trying to find my girlfriend. She's been kidnapped. Kidnapped? Yeah. It was our first day back together after many months. That's too bad. My God, that's depressing. I grabbed the flask and was struck by a powerful smell of absinthe, a highly potent and illegal alcoholic drink. Who was I to argue with irrational superstition? The packet was full of dog biscuits. Baked beans in ketchup. That mug was a health risk. I decided to leave it where it was. Hey, 20. Come and get it, boy. I felt a slight twinge of conscience as I prepared to give the dog a dunking. It soon passed. Uh... 
As I'd expected, the dog could swim like a, well, like a dog. Condor Trans Global? Nobody here. Go away. I'll give you five seconds to let me in or I'll bust down the door. Okay. I'm coming. He didn't sound too happy. Transglobal Shipping Company, isn't it? I don't like pizza. Oh, come on. Everyone likes pizza. Maybe he was allergic to mozzarella. Pizza's been paid for, you might as well take it. I told you, I don't like pizza. Not even with extra olives? I hate them. Olives are the devil's butt nuggets. If you know what's good for you, you'll open this door. What if I don't? I'll kick your head in. Okay, I'll come out, you creep.
there was an arc-shaped scratch on the floor, as if a door had been opened in the nearby wall. My fingers traced the outline of a secret door in the wall. Then I found a small round stud, which was set flush to the surrounding wooden panel. Just as I thought, a secret room. Nico! Look at this. It was a small statue of a kneeling figure in an ornate headdress. The head was hideous, with huge staring eyes set in a decomposing face. Hey, somebody's marketing Labano dolls. Hold still. This might hurt a little. Ow! Think yourself lucky you don't have a mustache. About time. You could at least have helped me before grabbing everything you could find. Not so loud. They'll hear you. Get these ropes off me right now. You know, the mood you're in, maybe that's not such a good idea. Where's Pablo, the big guy? Out cold. Too much wine doesn't agree with him. Are you okay? Of course I'm not okay. Untie me this instant. There. How are you feeling? Oh, thanks, Georges. How on earth did you find me? I knew Oubier had been in Marseille. But never mind about me. How about you tell me exactly what's going on, starting with that Mayan stone? I picked it up from one of Kazakh's men in Paris. I was expecting a consignment of narcotics. Drugs? Yes. The proof I needed to expose Kazakh's smuggling operation. I'd set it up to act as his courier, and once I had the proof, I planned to go straight to Inspector Moon. But instead of the dope I'd expected, they sent me that stone instead. And to find out more, I called Professor Oubillet, who invited me to his mansion. At least, I thought it was Oubillet. I don't get it. If Karzak's business is drugs, why is he so desperate to get his hands on that stone? Maybe it has some significance to the local people in Central America. It could be Kazakh's means of getting them to work for him. Anyway, we've got to get out of here. Nico, wait! If you say so, Nicole. Thank you so much, Andre. Georges, he told me you've been kidnapped, my dear. I'm glad to see he was mistaken. Oh, but it was true. If it hadn't been for Georges, I wouldn't be here now. And it's not finished yet. Karzak's thugs will be back for that stone, you can bet. The best lead that we have is Coromonte City. Coromonte? It's in Central America. That's where Oubier gets his artifacts. That's all we needed to know. Come on, Georges. Quadamonte, the traveler's rear entrance to Central America. Well, that's how it's translated in the brochure. We didn't know what we were looking for, but the offices of Condor Trans Global seemed a good place to start. Thank you. 
Hey, it's market day. I don't see any cabs. Let's ask someone how to get to Cuaramonte City. Okay. Keep your eyes peeled for any sign of Condor Transglobal. What what was that? It's a lump of lucky coal. A car car coal? I I would have uh, I would have preferred uh, chocolate. Uh, any any uh, flavor so long as it uh, hasn't got uh, uh, mar marzipan in it. God, I I I hate uh, marzipan. You can talk. I I mean, you're a talking goat. K keep keep your voice down. The, the, this is is between you and me, right? Well, I guess so. Now, I, 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 I mean it. You, 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 you tell anyone you've spoken to me, and, and, and you'll be cursed. Listen, sweetie. I'm looking for an official guide to take me to the old pyramid. For a lovely lady, I would go to the ends of the earth. For you, I will go as far as the pyramid and back. But what about your husband? What he doesn't know won't hurt him. Let's go, Beanpole. As Paul and Ronaldo set out for the ruined pyramid, I prepared to search the police station. It was a computer monitor with some kind of outdated game displayed on it. I didn't have time to get sidetracked by playing computer games. I didn't have time to get sidetracked by playing computer games. Uh-oh. Not such a good idea. It looked like a geologic... Brought me to you, fat man, and my name's not Junior. A word to the wise, Junior. You carry on waving that pea shooter in my face, and the next person who sees it is going to be your proctologist. Savvy? General, I am happy to report that I have apprehended the terrorists. You idiot! Not them! The other American and the French woman! They're the ones! <laughs> When I recovered consciousness, I was alone, washed up on the riverbank. My head was aching fiercely, and my mouth tasted like a swamp. At first, I thought the music I heard was in my head. Just my luck to wind up in paradise with a migraine. But I followed the sound, 
and discovered a tree house in a nearby clearing. Party days. It was just like sneaking back to my parents' house when I was younger. Except Oakland didn't have monkeys or parrots. The cone was ideal as a makeshift container. Drink this. Oh, George, it's horrible. Just swallow it down. Okay, try and rest now, darling. You'll need all your strength when we go after the other two stones. Other stones? What other stones? What have you gotten me into now, Josh Tobot? The patient is sounding more like her old self already. Nico recovered quickly from her fever. To save time, we decided to split up and look for each stone independently. I traced the pirate catch to a remote island in the Caribbean. With the fortune he'd amassed from piracy, he'd retired to a place that was later called Ketch's Landing. <laughs> 